We're at the 2019 PGA Show Demo Day and I'm with Tom Olsowski from Cobra. Tom, I always love talking to you because you not only have great experience, but you you can see down the road, you can see the future. And one of the uh, technologies you explained to us earlier in your wedge video, the MIM wedge, was MIM technology. Talk to us a little bit more about that and where you see golf clubs going over the next couple of years in terms of production technology. Yeah, definitely we see this technology as leading the industry to continue to make clubs more consistently, more precise, whether it's CNC milling or machining uh, or miming. You know, all these things are about making a better product and that's really where we start. How can we make the product better? How can we make it more consistently? Uh, how can we make it faster uh, and uh, more cost effectively? So um, miming is really used in many cases in the, in the rest of the world for things that are forged in machine. So it's much cheaper than that to mim something than it is to forge it and machine it. So that gives you the, the playability and performance that you want in that typical product that's much higher priced. So we're able to provide this, and we know that this is the future of making golf clubs, is these kind of processes. Uh, because everyone in the world is looking for how do we make it more effectively, how do we provide the same performance, the value, the feel, but make it more effectively to get it to the golfers, get it more widespread. What everybody knows in, in marketing and sales is the lower price, usually sells more units, yeah. almost always. So we know that a lot of golfers out there are saying, hey, golf clubs are too expensive, I don't want to pay that much, but I do want on, on a basic golf club uh, with great technology that performs, so I want something that's engineered better. And that's where miming comes in, is we can engineer it better, more cost effectively, more precise, softer feel, so that's a win-win scenario. So you do a wedge now, but will you be, will, will, this, will this be, will every iron be mims in five years time or? Where is it going? Well, certainly something uh, in this alloy, this is a 304 alloy, uh, something that more uh, I would call solid body clubs, we see that coming. Yeah, definitely. So um, we're working on those now and continuing to, uh, to prove out the technology for different heads, different irons, different wedges, different soles, all those things. Uh, some of the other things, the complex constructions we see in game improvement clubs or super game improvement that may be hollows, uh, it's a little farther out. But, okay. you know, that, that, that doesn't mean it's not coming. It just means it's a little farther out. Is miming cleaner for the environment? Is it better? Is it a cleaner production process? Uh, definitely much cleaner. You know, you're not grinding metal. Uh, you're not making dust. You're not uh, hurting the workers. You know, all those things are definitely helping. Uh, it's also much, uh, much, much less uh, intensive from a standpoint of how long it takes. All the other things you have to do. When you think about casting, uh, what you have to do is you have to use a ceramic shell and do all those processes which, which aren't very clean. And then you have to do pouring of metal, yeah. which isn't particularly clean either. And then you have to uh, take the metal out of the shell, which is a messy process. And then you have to go grind it, which is messy. So all those things are messy, where this is very clean. You take it out of the mold, you put it in an oven, everything's contained and managed. And then you come out and you put it in the robot and let the robot polish it, contain all the dust and all those fumes from humans. Yeah. So it's much cleaner for the people and it's much cleaner for the environment. But perfect for wedges where you need that soft feel. But will it be in your better players' irons or is it too soft for that? Well, I could tell you all of our future product, but then I might have to kill you. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Guys, that's Meming. Tom, always good to talk to you about it. I'm. I'm sure this is just the first of many.